Oscar Bevis, IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast, here at York Hall to smile. Says it all we were talking about. If you were looking back on the first... Well, there you go. There you go. The two belts, and uh, I'd done just that, really. Uh, I was super confident going into this fight. I knew I'd done everything in camp to um, come out top and come out on top convincingly, and uh, I think I'd done that. Um, I thought I was going to stop, stop him in the later rounds, but... He was tough, Luke, and um, he's got good footwork and got, got him out of trouble a couple of times, so fair play to him. Yeah, he, he's, he's, he'll, he'll be back. He'll be back. He's only 11 and 0, so, yeah. Well, we were speaking at the press conference about how you said you were going to use the motivation from the first British title defeat and the yeah. second British title defeat, so first time lucky, as they say, but you weren't lucky tonight. You were the better fighter, but just how much did them first two sort of give you that motivation. How much better does it make tonight, Phil? As well? Like I said in a couple of interviews beforehand, I think you need that, that loss early on in your career. So you push that harder in training. You know you, you've got to dig deeper. Sometimes you just take it easy and um, you've got, you know you've got to dig down and push, push yourself more than you have before. And I think them losses, you learn from them. And obviously tonight I showed, I showed that uh, I'm at this level and uh, I'm here to stay, baby. Um, let's talk about sort of the fight and as it went on, general consensus as Lee said when he came in here, through four rounds, um, yeah. you were down, does that sort of play in your mind at all, change or all the game plan? Yeah, the first, I knew the first couple of rounds was he's going to be the faster guy, he had the faster footwork, the faster hands, so we knew that was going to happen, we knew like the first couple of rounds were going to be difficult, but as soon as I got into my groove that was, that was the end of that and um, I knew he wasn't going to stick at the pace I set. Um, the last couple of rounds, I did take it a bit too easy. I thought I was going to stop him, and then he sort of survived, and then he was running around the ropes. It's just I didn't want to fall in behind on shots, and I didn't want to look, make myself look stupid, so I was just making him run. And just the first, the last two rounds was pretty comfortable for myself. Yeah, yeah, he is kind of them. Does what it says on the tin sort of fight. As yeah. you. Did he bring anything you didn't expect? Because it's the same sort of game plan, I suppose, he used for, for Riley. Yeah, I, I, exactly that. Um, he knew he wasn't strong enough to stay inside with me. The first couple of rounds, he did do that. <laughs> and uh, he tired straight away. And that was the, en the end of that. And then he, he, he went on his bike. And uh, I started taking over from round four, really. Yeah. Can we bring in Mr. Eaton? Yeah. If, you, if you can get by. The mean man. <laughs> <laughs> the man with the plan. I said, Julie, at a press conference, I said, just the way you were talking to the team on, um, what was it, on Wednesday, I could just tell how much it would mean to everyone. Obviously, we know how much it means to Gavin, but yeah, you've been together for a couple of years now. I know um, oh, it's your first one. You've know you've been friends for a couple of years. It's your first one together. Yeah. How good does that feel? Yeah, no, listen, I'm over the moon. Obviously, me and Gavin have been friends for a couple of years. Um, obviously, he fought on our show before when um, he, he fought with Sean McCone for the Commonwealth title. Um, and obviously, when he was out of contract, we spoke, and obviously, the plan was he said, Look, I want the uh, British title. I said, I'll deliver it. And tonight, straight away, it's, 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 <laughs> first fight, first fight, delivered it. And yeah. now, tonight, he's British and Commonwealth champion. Obviously, the British Water Control want him to defend within 90 days against um, Craig Woodruff. Um, no problem with that. All Welsh fight, to be honest. No problems at all with that fight. Um, it's got obviously be nice. I'm on, I'm on the bigger side of the purse, mate. I'm the champion. Well, calm yourself down. <laughs> we'll sort that out later <laughs> on, all right? Don't you worry. You you will do. Um, but yeah, no. Obviously, this and maybe this and just defend. I know Joe Cordina's got up. There's talks of a, car, a fight on Joe Cordina's card, but I don't know when that is. Or but listen, if that happens, listen, 100% be interested. Um, and then obviously we defend against Craig Woodruff, quite confident in that fight, and then move on to possibly European level. Um, he's he's a great fighter, and I'm looking forward to the journey. Yeah, yeah Gav. Obviously, defending against Craig Woodruff yeah. in Wales would be massive. But just in terms of even going further than that, if you win them titles, they're worth so much. You have to be at such a high level that arguably you're only ever two or three fights away. As we see with Max, you're only ever two or three fights away for something life changing. 100 percent this the, the these are the times now the the life-changing times and you likes of uh, max hughes he's only one fight away from a life-changing life-changing amount of money and uh, 
he can he can live comfortable for the rest of his life. So I'm, I know his talks are Ryan Garcia for him. There. So if they can get that over for him, that I, I wish him all the best. That'd be that'd be brilliant. Like, but uh, yeah, that's where I want to go now. I'm I want to push on and uh, win more belts. And only the, the only way is up now from now. Welcome, Team Everlast, to the Team Everlast Fitness Day. Download the Everlast Fitness app and find your greatness within.